I talked to y'all tonight. I'm looking for some strippers for a strip party. Y'all ready? Did you say that shit just two seconds ago? We said no. I was talking to y'all. Mother you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Sisters of Game. I'm Jade. I'm Big Pimpy. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Dr. Care's Pet Rescue 911. 911! Where we are finally acting like a veterinarian. Veterinarian. Are we? Okay, no. We're more like a pharmacy tech selling drugs and stuff. We do get to put in IVs. Well, that's something. That is, I guess that's something. Okay. It's closer than washing poodles. We're not doing the bonuses, are we? No. no. So we go right to 23. What is 23? Do the checkup on Maggie. Hello, okay. Maggie. 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 Is everything all right? Is there another family emergency? Some other reason you can't get here on time? <sighs> it's just stalkered Jasper. I forgot his fucking name for some reason. Why don't you call the police or something? Because it's not that bad yet. I mean, he's just a little annoying. Look. You said his name was Stalker Jasper. What can I tell you? It does sound complicated. It is! Especially when a silly bitch won't call the police. What did you just say? <laughs> I skipped through it. Well, ideally not. It was not important. I understand why he texts me all day. I'm supposed to be working. It's so annoying. He needs a job. Why okay, don't maybe you he doesn't change he's got your money. number. Or even block him. Mm -hmm. Okay, on some serious shit, I can't change my number. I have P Big Pimpy has had her phone number for 15 years. You know how many numbers I have? You know how many people? Okay, but you know you can block a motherfucker, right? Boop, block. That's the answer. Not changing the number. Uh, well, that's why boop, I, boop. I didn't think block about that. Block that shit. Block. Block, bitch. Block. Block, block, block. Block that shit. I can't. I ain't changing my number, but I can put him on the "Don't Call Me" list. Yeah, and I can have him. Call he got to call me from a friend's house like a bugaboo. <laughs> right, his name on my phone would be "Don't Don't Answer This Phone," <laughs> Stalker Jasper. Derek Speak. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't okay. answer this call. It's Derek Speak. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know what you don't really watch chick flicks. That's that the best did, part of that show. That's the only part I remember. That's the best part that of that I like. Was like. I had you watch that, so you got to watch this part. The rest of that show is just freaking stupid because I'm not a chick. I don't do yeah, chick Yeah, it flicks. is a stupid movie. Kind of but shit. that whole, do not answer this. I wish I could make my voice a ringtone sometimes. Can we not? Uh, how, how does she do it on her phone? Her is phone that just enabled movie magic? her to do it. Okay. Well, tell that fucker to stop calling you and wasting up all your minutes. I don't want to hurt his feelings, though. Because you know if you hurt a stalker feelings, this is you exact, get shot. This is exactly what bitches say before they end up as a Lifetime movie. <laughs> Mother, may I sleep with danger? <laughs> don't spray the walls with Luminol. You can find a handprint. That shit was creepy as fuck. Why not? That was creepy. And they're in a room like, hey, bitch, why are you even staying in the room? But will that happen, though? Like, okay, if someone was murdered in your house and the cops come in and spray luminol, does it always stay glowy whenever you turn off the light? Or does that shit wear off? I read somewhere that it only works at night. So I don't know if that's true. What do you mean it only works? So if they do turn the lights off, it'll still be glowy and shit. It only works at night. I don't know if that's true. I have to Google it. Why don't you Google it later? How do you Google, how do you Google that and not have the fans... <laughs> You can't Google that shit. The fucking fans will be tapping my phone. As soon as I put in, um, how, how, I can't even say it with a straight face. How long did the effects of Luminol last? The fuck? I might as well just sign myself over to the government. Just let the we fans We got a live one. Me. Big pimpy trace. <laughs> then they would be tracing yeah, all man. kinds of shit. They watch this anyway, so it don't even matter. Go ahead. Oh, the feds do. Uh, they watch this anyway. We are bugged. They probably do now. But that would make them like we have a. <laughs> Is I see the casino and they start writing notes down. We have a. <laughs> we no have good a, fellas. <laughs> we have a secret department that watches us on the daily basis because they be capturing our lives and shit. But that googling that will let like the ultimate fed know. <laughs> and that would take me to put me right on the radar instead of being somebody's undercover work. I would be. 
everyday business. Just like in seven, they watching your <laughs> your, your library you, list. Ugh, you can't Google that. There's certain things that you can only Google at certain times. Like, if that show that we're referring to came on Lifetime tomorrow, then you can Google it. Because uh, the Googles go up. Like, they, they tag your Google if you, like, Google Manson. But if a movie about Manson comes on, they don't tag your number because so many people research it and look up, look into it. Oh, so we have to wait for a movie to come on about Luminol. I have to wait for a show about Luminol. CSI then all, I can all Google. the time. Yeah, but they don't use Luminol a lot in CSI. Officer Murray and Maggie, who's a good girl? Uh, 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 is Officer Murray the girl? Uh, I'm guessing the dog is Maggie. Oh, okay. Maggie! Hey, Maggie! In for the annual checkup on the police department, of course. Oh, yes, indeed. The, the dog police need to be kept in deep top of condition. Well, why is he Italian? Because I can't do Irish. <laughs> Why, hello, Maggie. I'm so honored to Italian meet either. <laughs> a local hero. He going to have that disease like in uh, Scream Queens where every time she talks, it's a different accent. Is that what it is? That's what it's going to be. We're going to buy the lamps. Play. We ain't need that shit. Probably not. Do the checkup on Maggie. Let's get some pills. Let me look for the movie. There he is. I found him. Fuck you. Oh, there's my good little girl. Come here. Maggie. Uh, we got to go harass some black people now. Uh-uh. Ready come on? As usual, she was the perfect lady. Where'd you make it, girl? Where'd you make it, girl? No problems at all. She's ready for duty. What is that voice? Well, what do you say to the nice doctors, Maggie? <laughs> Maggie's gonna go woof and then shit on the floor. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and she did, shit. She's a German Shepherd, so it's more like woof. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> it was our pleasure. <laughs> We'd like you to take these biscuits with you. I wish we could keep her. You have enough pets. <laughs> We're always here for Maggie, Officer Murray. Anything police needs, I'll be sure to ask for this great duel next time. It was a pleasure meeting you, Amy. Um, it was nice meeting you too, Officer Murray. Um, yeah, what can I do about a stalker? Can you help me with that? Have you been watching me, Lassie? Uh, um, watching you? You're talking about me? No! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> it's nice to see a new friendly face around here. Okay. Baitons! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you treat the stalker girl! Baitons! <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering when you're gonna slip into your French accent for these. Yeah, I know you miss doing it. I do miss the French accent. My accents all suck. I try my best. <laughs> All my bitches sound alike. I just try. All right, 24. Should What's 24? Chicken. Hurt, <laughs> Make sure Newton don't cause no trouble. Your your voice for Newton is really awesome, though. You sound if I can just remember like a it. If I can remember it. You sound just like a parrot. I try. <laughs> Still no food in this motherfucker. I'm shitting on everything. Stop it, Newton. Why did she leave the door open? You would know better than that with a bird. I have pets, and I know you so check she with know every she eye. Why did she lock her door? She'll go home to an empty house. Right? And she deserve it. Morning, Jack. <laughs> Morning, Jack. Off. You got some food for me? Is there an echo in here? Who the fuck is that? That's uh, my grandpa's. It's my grandpa's stupid ass bird that follows me everywhere because I was dumbass and didn't lock my fucking front door. In New York City? Well, Newton, nice to meet you. You're rather clever, aren't you? I bet you're starving, huh? Brock! You goddamn red I am! The bitch never feeds me! I'm all skin and bones in this motherfucker! Please give me a biscuit, Brock! 
They were just laughing. <laughs> laughing at my misery! True story. Our vet was treating a bird that could speak and she came over with a needle and the bird said, uh oh and she couldn't <laughs> she couldn't stick him. <laughs> Which vet? Um the one that did birds. Oh, okay. She said that bird said, uh oh and she said, uh, I lost it. <laughs> Took a while for me to be able to stick him. <clears throat> Would you mind if he stayed here today? He's a dumbass, but I can't. Uh, if I take him home, I'm going to be late for work, and I'm on time today. He just follows me wherever I go. Just like stalker J Jas Jason. Jasper, I'm confused. Well, there's no problem as long as he doesn't get in my way. He's a good birdie. Enough of that. Brock! Go fuck yourself, Jack off! Talk that way to Stack Stalker Jasper. Oh my god, did he listen to you? He got quiet. Usually he always listens to my grandpa. Hmm. <laughs> Do I look like your grandfather? Not even close. Oh wait a minute, take off your pants. Oh. Oops. <laughs> <clears throat> Ain't nothing lime in there. <laughs> What's that mean? Your grandfather makes lime. I heard about them lime. Uh, I can't talk to you. Bedroom buddies. He got a commercial too. Bedroom buddy. What am I supposed to do with him? Bedroom buddy. I fish. I have caught almost all of the fish. Mouse and the bird. Yay! Yay! I'm waiting outside. I got us a nice reservation. You got any extra draws with you? Some uh. draws. Busy evening tonight. Another date with my boyfriend. Bitch, if you don't like him, just block him. You don't seem that excited about it. Uh. It's not that, it's just that... You send in mixed signals. Sometimes when I go to the bathroom and I pee, I like to be by myself. Look, if, you, if you're this grouchy about it, you don't really like the guy. You confuse and send in mixed signals. How do you tell a dude that follows you to the bathroom to pee, go away without getting stabbed? Tell him you want to have eight of his babies. <laughs> You won't see that motherfucker again for years. <laughs> he asked me to move in with him. Do you even know his last name? We've only known each other for a couple of weeks. And Newton fucking hates see, him. This is sarcastic as shit. Sounds like a tough decision to make. That is a sarcastic... I don't know. This ain't tough. He knows it ain't tough. I don't know if they meant it to be sarcastic. Yeah, but it's sarcastic. Did someone say steak? No, I said mistake. Oh, you got my mouth all warmed up for some steak and you don't even have any. I love that woman pulling sandwiches out of bra. I love Can her. Can I please get some food this century? What did I say about distractions, wise guy? How are you doing that? I'm a man, baby. Look, that, there's that picture. <laughs> <laughs> they love their <laughs> in these what games. What you say, man? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I need to tell you about Newton's stowaway adventure. A stowaway, huh? I'd love to hear all about it. Dinner? I'm going out with Stalker Jasper. And your legs are wide open. Come uh. on, I'll walk you out. Da, 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 da. Rock, stand up food for me! God damn! He's looking around too. Rock, you guys are irresponsible pet owners! I hate you all! He lucky he made of bananas. Shark! <laughs> 
I bet you he just wants them to die in a fire. Can you blame him? <laughs> okay, what is, where, where am I? Oh, what did I do? You know, for the longest time, those little pets on top of the door, I thought they were shadows for what's going to be popping in. But they're not. They're not. Twenty-five. Make sure the tables are clean at the end of the day. That's my white girl voice. You like it? I love it. I have to work really hard to get my voice that high pitched because I have a. What happened? I used to have a higher voice, and now it's like Barry White sitting in your living room. What the fuck? You all fuck it now. Is that what it is? I don't think your voice is any different. It's just that you stop talking through your nose. Maybe no. it's your real voice, <laughs> Janet. <laughs> it's tough, but I'm dealing with those people on my job where I have to go. <clears throat> Make sure the tables are clean at the end of the day, please. And then when they walk out the room, I'm like I can't stand that motherfucker. Already hating. It's only been five weeks. This BF thing, god damn. That's the title. This BF thing, god damn. Seriously. I am like so lost when it comes to this boyfriend thing. Oh. Help me, Crystal. Oh. Her voice is going to be sing-songy from now on, by the way. Oh. I'm going to use that face, too. I got to. That's it's the only time she doesn't look like she's ready to eat somebody. Oh. You worry too much. You're amazing together. You love Stalker. Stalker loves you. Oh, but I need a break from him because he, he's sucking the life out of me. He never leaves me alone. He's always around. And he can't fuck. Why are you so whiny? And why do you know if he can fuck or not? Because we've oh. been trying. Does Jack need to hear this? Jack ain't listening. He over there. Masturbating furiously. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, if, if he can last longer than two minutes, he's better than Stalker Jasper. Already, he's like, oh. His, his head looks like that kiss on Fight Club. It does. We said that about somebody else's head. It was his head. Was it his head? Yeah. I don't think you have to work. Let's go to Verity because all the clubs in New York, that's the only one I go to. Verity. Is, does that mean something? Stand for something? Is it supposed to be variety? No, Verity. What does Verity mean? I have no fucking idea. Google that shit. I need to know. I think it means truth. Okay. We'll see you then. Mwah. Kisses. Hey, Jack. Do you need me to stay late tonight? Shouldn't you ask me that shit before you make plans? <sighs> Shouldn't you have asked me that shit before you made plans? <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm really missing my friends. I've been so busy, I haven't really had time to stay in touch. Verity means true principle or belief. Uh. I, didn't I say truth? It means truth. You did. <sighs> I know what you mean. There's this girl I work with, and she has, like, the worst work ethics ever. And she's always leaving early. She always comes in late. She's always on her phone. I'm surprised they still pay her and they haven't fired her. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. I, like, do know. I heard about that girl that works in the cafeteria and she does that stuff. Is that who you're talking about? They should fire her for real. Yeah. What they pay her for? They pay her, like, $16 an hour. She don't deserve that shit. They should just let her go and hire somebody else that wants the job. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> Thanks for all of your hard work lately. It doesn't go unnoticed. See, that's the kind of shit that I hate. I hate when you go to a meeting at your job and they are talking about you, but they don't tell you. You know what I'm saying? Or they're talking about somebody. They don't tell that person. And that person that they're talking about is like, oh, yeah, you should take care of that. They're talking about you, motherfucker. <laughs> You're the one doing it. But you looking around you know like, what? who did it? Who did it? I had a boss that did that. We had a meeting, and they were talking about how um, people who used to work there at the job with us, they're not always your friends, so be careful who you talk about. And I wasn't paying no attention to it, right? After the meeting, the bitch says, you know we're talking about you because you're friends with this person and she used to work here and not everybody's your friend. I said, wait a minute, you a legit telling me who to be <laughs> friends with? I said, you tell me.
I already have a daddy. <laughs> Swear to God, hand on the Bible is exactly what I told her. You better bleep out that name. So, <laughs> so you tell him, you tell my boss, I already have a daddy. <laughs> But, but see, okay. You can't you tell me who'd be friends. But look, with. using that situation, you see how direct that was? Why would you have a meeting and then cloud that look, shit out? It's so embarrassing because I was that person. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about me? <laughs> Y'all need to put the kibosh on that. That shit shouldn't be happening every day. Doodly, doodly, doodly. You were straight up talking about me? I was thinking, I said, this is some bullshit. Who I can't stand that? that shit. That happened at a meeting once when I was at the bank. And I actually said, this is what I said in the meeting. I was like, uh, excuse me, but the people you are talking about right now in this meeting are sitting up here saying, it's not them. Please direct your attention right? to them when the meeting's over or else this problem will never be rectified. I, I did. I mean, I was that person. I was, <laughs> they were straight talking about me. And I was thinking, damn, that's some ballsy <laughs> shit. I'm somebody who they can be friends with. And I was thinking, yo, good luck with that, because, you know, you can't tell me to be who to be friends with. <laughs> I was so sick in that meeting. I said, ooh, I hope that motherfucker tell y'all something about that. That was you. And it was me. Bitch, you got me. I was the only one. That whole meeting. <laughs> Bitch, I can't breathe. <laughs> Just to pull me aside. Talk about. <laughs> it was straight up talking about. You know, you gotta be careful who your friends with. I'm like, bitch, you can't tell. This is a job. You can't tell me who I can be friends with. Bitch, you can't give so me up. Tell him I already got a daddy. <laughs> 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 bitch, you stupid. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. You yeah, stupid. serious. Hand to God, that was me and me. <laughs> You're looking for that one. I was talking about you. <laughs> I'm clowning you now. <laughs> and they were straight up talking Woo. about me. Ooh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about all that. <laughs> and they thought you have to be. You know we talking about you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, Woo. that was meant for you. And I was like, uh. what? <laughs> yes, we were, we, were direct, we, were, we were talking about you. Oh, God, I'm dying. Woo, Woo that's I'm, funny. Oh, okay. that's funny. I said, my, my resume didn't say y'all could tell me who I could be friends with now. That's crazy talk. Oh, you know better than that. Uh, oh, you know better than that. that you know that's me. legit hilarious. Kind of, <laughs> but now you mad at me because I'm like, you that dumb motherfucker in the mirror. I'm like, you that motherfucker. There's a mouse right there. Good job. You, you that dumb one. They, yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about my ass. They're talking about you. And while I'm talking about shit, because, you know, we just talking. But all funniness aside, though, they shouldn't really, if they have a problem with you, they should just take it up with you. Well, they not, did, though. <laughs> but they did it afterwards when they saw you was clowning them. And it was like, Actually, she, no. They're like, she ain't getting the point. She wasn't looking at me. She just wanted to make sure I got the message. So at least they did what you said. Make sure the person get the message. Because I was that one thinking, whatever. But it wasn't me. <laughs> Okay, I'm so y'all remember I was telling y'all about this bitch I work with that I can't stand, and everybody got a person at the job. If you don't know somebody at your job that's really close to getting you put in jail, you the one. <laughs> you the one. So this bitch is going on vacation, and she came out there and announced. Now, I don't know why she did this except to be just dirty. But she came out there and she said... Well, so and so from this other department is gonna come up here and feed my fish on my vacation. And I'm thinking, bitch, I don't care about you, your vacation or the fish. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I don't even need to know. If she go back there, I don't care. If she go back there and take all your shit, I wouldn't care a fucking bit. You know, why do jobs allow you to have fish on your desk, but I can't bring my dog in? I'm just saying. I don't know either because I think fit, you, a fish can be really messy in an office situation. Especially this bitch here. And that poor fish is on last leg. The I mean, poor little beta. All his fins look like fingers. And I'm like, I know that ain't right. You mean he don't have no webs between them? No. She's doing something wrong. The water's bad. She don't put no thing in the water. Because when you go to the Walmart or whatever, you see the poor little fish. All their fins is fucked up. Then you take it home and you put that shit in the water. Sure. And then the, the, the fish pop back to life after a couple weeks. Because the fish in Walmart live in that blue water. That, that nasty water, they, they don't care. I mean, you go <laughs> you go to Walmart looking for a fish. You, 
<laughs> you might get some skeletons in that bitch because I've just seen them just hanging in bed. I'm like, how much I gonna sell this dead fish for? <laughs> Bitches. Anyway, that's besides the point, okay? Everybody in that building got a fucking fish on their desk. I don't want none of it because Didn't I don't Didn't they have nobody. like frogs at your other job? Little little frogs, little baby frogs? Yeah, they had little baby frogs. You know, they they have crazy shit. I'm like, this is just asking. This is how you get ants, right? But how do they keep the baby frogs in the bowl? They don't hop out? I don't know. They might have done. I don't know. They went in my office. I didn't have <laughs> Although I really would like to have a little baby frog. You know, I, I'd like to have that, but I'm like, I don't want to take care of nothing else, so fuck it. Anyway, that's besides the point. You always, look, this this game going to be over, and I'm, I'm not going to be able to tell the story. Well, get to your story then. Anyway, she said somebody's going to be feeding the fish. And then the other girl I work with said, well, you know, why? And she said, well, because you're going to be on vacation too, so I'm going to be the only one there. And she said, and five days is too long to leave that fish by itself. Like I don't sit there. Like I'm not going to be there. Like I can't put some shit in the tank. And if she didn't want me to do it, why didn't she come out there and announce it so I can know she don't want me to do it? That's just spiteful. Uh -huh. You mean you didn't ring this person? I'm done with the story. You can ring that motherfucker up. I was going to let you finish with the story. I don't care done. about him. I don't care if he leaves. You done with your story? Yes. Look okay. at how mad he looks. I don't care. Fuck him. Let Ooh, him he left with an <laughs> attitude to it. Like, he said, I don't want to hear that fish story. <laughs> he said, fuck your people on your job. I don't know why people are so mean for no reason. Let me see your doo-doo brown. <laughs> I want to rock. I want to rock. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, it's supposed to be crazy loud. Like, can you hear me out of the music? It's too loud in here. It's been so crazy lately. Well, ain't no men in this place. It's like, you always say it's. That's a man right there, or is that a lady in a business? I don't know. This is, a, this is a taco salad. I mean, it's been amazing, but I've barely had a second to relax. Tell me about it. I haven't seen you in weeks. Uh, okay, so it's. Pretty and I'm so happy about that. <laughs> How about Stalker Jasper? How's that going? He's handsome and charming and nice, but he's a two-minute brother. He always wants to watch me pee. And this motherfucker wants me to move in with him. Oh, you're so lucky. He really loves you and he's a freak. He sniffs my drawers a lot. I mean, my panties. Bitch, so what? A lot of them have to pay a lot of money for such a thing. I can't afford to be buying panties every five days because he keeps taking them home and I can't wear them when he's done. Girl, he got lots of money. You have him buy you some. No. <laughs> the last thing I want to do. You make a problem. There ain't no problems. Public service announcement. Don't listen to nothing Crystal saying because this bitch stupid. Look. The she last, the last jazz, thing man. I want to do is ask this motherfucker to buy me some new drawers. You know what? You need to stop being so passive aggressive. You need to just tell him, I don't want you. Instead of saying, ah, get, shit, I'll get off the fucking pot. Okay? Let's party. Oh my God, Crystal, who possessed you? I'm sorry. I just couldn't help myself. No, I know, but he gets so grumpy when I'm busy. And, and it's your job to please him, oh right? Oh my god, this bitch gonna be the burden bitch. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This whole conversation is stupid. <laughs> You're a strong <laughs> I can't even I can't even do it. <clears throat> even and do this, do this it. is where Jade says, <laughs> Nonsense, you're a strong, independent woman. That he should respect you for. You have an important job. Dying puppies pink. You're right. If he cared about me at all, he'd understand that my job is important. Yeah, I can't lie that much. <laughs> I can't tell that That's lie. That's why I had to step in and you know, do the narrative. I can't tell that, that lie. Strong, independent woman, please. 
A strong, independent woman would have said, Jasper, stop calling me so much. A strong, independent woman with an important job. Come on. Really? Yeah, really. Her job ain't important My yet. My dick wants to laugh. Right. All right. We're going to leave this episode here. We done did our three. Tune in tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We have a new video every day at 5 o'clock. O'clock. And that is Eastern time, baby. Eastern. East Coast. Woo! Like, comment, and subscribe. All three, baby. And if you, if you leave them a comment, we will answer you back. We promise we answer you back. Love all the fans. All of you bitches. Love them all. One, 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 one. We're back up to 57 subscribers. Yeah. Yay. So maybe we'll get to, you know, 100 this year. And if you like us, if you think we're funny, uh, share. share. You know what? If you don't like us and you're like, these are some stupid bitches, share that too. We'll take it. Share yeah. it. We don't mind. Yeah. And we'll save a place for you on the couch. Ain't too proud to beg. <laughs> We're really not. I mean, we've been begging every day since we started. We're like, bag. please, please watch our videos. Ain't you proud to beg? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cup hands. Sushi. <laughs> <laughs>